This is a brief instructional video on showing how to check the condition of your tail well cutters and looking for damage and sharpening them. So what we've done is once we've removed the cutters from the unit and cleaned them, we can then align the cutters so that one tooth is on the other corresponding tooth on the inside cutter. By looking down on the end, you can make sure that all the cutters, all the teeth are engaging or touching so that that ensures that there's no bent or damaged teeth. You can also check it by turning it like that and that'll confirm that everything's running smoothly. Secondly, by pulling them apart, you can look closely at the face of each tooth and see if there's any excessive wear there. If there's excessive wear there, you may be able to correct that by using some grinding paste, which we'll do in a minute, um, or it'll be a case of a new set of cutters. So what we can do is apply a little bit of ordinary valve grinding paste, such as you might have used on your old car in the good old days. Just smooth that around. Fit it inside. And just work it backwards and forward for a minute or so. What this can do is to just hone or clean up the face a little bit and make sure that any uh, small ridges um, that have happened as a result of grit mixing with the oil causing like a grinding paste, um, this will ensure that it just smooths those off and you can make sure that when you clean that paste off you can see where we're touching and where we're not. Now that's reasonably even all the way around there so and, and when I do spin it like this in my fingers I can feel the sharp edges there. Just might want a little bit more. And it feels like it's seating correctly. Now, if it required any further sharpening, then it's going to be a matter of having the seven teeth on the outer cutter, the seven teeth to the right of the file, and by just drawing the file backwards and forwards, a few times you will just take, you'll just dress that edge of the tooth up there and then move it round one and do the next set. Until you've done all of them. With the internal cutter it's a case of cutting them directly across so that we are getting the correct angle by doing that and then moving it around. And so on and so forth until you've done the whole cutter. And then when it's put back together, they should really give a nice, crisp, clean cut and do quite a bit more life. Before I refit the cutters into the tail well, I'll put grease around this face here, because you can see on this one, for example, it hasn't been cleaned so well after being used and as a result there's a little bit of rust starting to develop here. So by putting lots of grease in there it just helps to ensure that, that uh, they stay clean during the process of being used. The other thing is to always use plenty of oil, um, particularly if you're in uh, conditions where the animals are walking on sandy areas or they're bedded in sand uh, in, in stalls and so forth. Uh, after all, this is a, a terrible environment that these things work in and uh, with the dirt and oil, it mixes into a beautiful grinding paste and uh, that's what's going to blunt on them and shorten their life quicker than anything else. So the more oil, the better. The other part of it that's very important is correctly adjusting the cutters. So when you put the cutter back in, you've bolted everything on, there's lots of oil and grease in there, you screw these uh, hand, uh, hand tight in these little centre screws up their adjusters evenly up as hard as you can. I give them a little jiggle when I'm tightening them up uh, and get them as tight as I can by hand only. Uh, any more than that and they'll be too tight. And then just nip up just lightly the lock nuts and that ensures they stay where they are. And then just make sure that you can just turn the unit by hand. If you can't do that then something's not right so you need to go through the adjustment process yet again. So if the cutting performance on your tail well has dropped off a little bit, you can 
uh, hone the blades with a bit of grinding paste while the blades are still in situ. So by removing the back plate from the tail well, we can access the inner blade. The inner blade can be taken out and then applying a little bit of paste around the edge of the blade, smearing it around and then popping it back into the body of it. And with the drill running and applying a little bit of pressure to the back of the cutter, you can just help those cutters to pop at the grind to, sit, to just clean up the edges and to tidy up that place. Just putting a little bit of pressure on with your thumb, you can make those cutters hone in. And pulling it out, you can see that the paste is spread around evenly and it's giving us a nice clean a nice clean face and again you can feel how sharp those uh, cutters have become just after a few seconds. Okay so having uh, cleaned the blades uh, thoroughly to make sure there's no um, grit left in there or valve grinding paste of any sort in there make sure it's very very clean re-oil or re-grease them and then put them back together again and then you can make your adjustment uh, to reset the blades. Of course if you'd needed to file them you can file them before um, re-assembling them as well. Okay, so you've cleaned the face, you've re-oiled it and you're ready to put it back together again. Now of course you may have wanted to also touch the edges up with a file um, just to uh, make sure that everything's spot on. If this is the case then uh, you would file them, you can do the uh, outer blade while it's in the body and the inner blade by sitting it on the bench as per your instructions. Um, then when you're ready to assemble it, you wash them, make sure they're nice and clean, no, no grit or anything like that left on them. Oil the uh, blade or re-grease it and fit it back into the unit and reassemble. Don't forget when you're adjusting the blades, you screw in finger tight the centre adjustment, just making sure it's as tight as you can get it by finger. Then wind down the little lock nuts and just using a spanner, just nip them up a little bit just to make sure that those screws don't come undone. Uh, There's no need to over tighten them and then your, uh, your tail well is good to go again.